So in this video we're going to dive into meta thesis and this is going to be focusing mainly on first looking at two compounds like for example let's say we look at a compound that consists of a b that is going to be combining or reacting with other compound labeled c d now if this particular reaction is at equilibrium we actually generate products that is as follows a will bond with d and r c will bond with b so looking at this we can actually conclude that this reaction is a double displacement reaction like what you've learned in grade 10 and this exchange of ions is actually typical in terms of the formation of a precipitate of an insoluble product a d could be a precipitate c b could be a precipitate in this particular double displacement reaction and based on this concept we are going to apply this to the organic factor which is looking at all the things and how they can actually interact with one another either when they are alone or when they are subjected to a specific catalyst now in this particular one we notice that there is a substitution or changing of partners in terms of the substituents within the double bond we notice here that once this bond actually cleaves on both sides there is a switch in partners right in this region or somewhere in this region as well that causes the formation of diverse products that are actually existing mainly based on the stereochemistry and also the type of substituents that are actually positioned or attached this actually leads to the disadvantage of this particular reaction because it shows how highly uncontrolled the formation of the undesired product is now this is commercially not favorable but in order for we to make this a commercial success this actually was proposed in 2005 Nobel Prize in chemistry where a specific three shared scientists were able to actually propose various interesting catalysts and also a mechanism that will be used to facilitate the formation of desired products now we have one by the name of Richard R. Shorrock and what he did was that he was able to use a specific homogeneous catalyst or create one called a myobidium 6 or thirsting 6 both of them are actually in the same group in the periodic table and as a metal center you can actually surround them with similar substituents like what you see in the top three right here when you notice in this top three is that first we actually have alkoxides actually attached to the metal center that's what we see in the brown color right here another one what you see you notice that's common in all three yes you're right there is an imidor actually attached as well and those are actually noticed right at the very top and the final one which is actually crucial for this particular type of reaction is called the alkyl dying and this alkyl dying metal center here is actually important in various of these olefin method thesis now another one is actually proposed by Graves, and what Graves did was that he was able to look at specific metals ruthenium to carbonoid and this ruthenium right here actually has specific I would say changes or modifications that is based on this particular center right here so what you notice in the first two is that we actually have the same i'll say substituent attached at the axial position 
but then there is a modification where rather than that actually present we substitute it for something different which is called an isopropyloxy styrene and this particular segment enables this particular catalyst to actually perform the job that is necessary in this particular type of metal thesis reaction of olefins now that is out of the way were able to cover two of the scientists and the final scientist is a Chauvin and before we dive into Chauvin what he did let's look at some of the processes that can be created from this particular reaction one is called the cross metathesis which is the forward reaction where if you have two arcanes what happens is that through cross metathesis we actually have the formation of a particular product and we have our double bond and in this part the R2 could be pointing up or pointing down right there and we have the other product which is ethyl and this ethylene or propylene product can be removed since they are gas so as a result this is actually favorable through entropy because of the loss of the ethylene gas that leads to the formation of more products favoring entropy however the reverse reaction which is actually called the ethanolysis which i'll represent as e shows that ethyl right here is actually lysed and once it's lysed right here it actually performs a form of a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction with our desired product right here and this reaction actually goes back to forming our reactants right there so if you increase the pressure of this ethylene right here the reaction is actually favorable in the reverse direction so since that is out of the way this same concept is actually applicable to the ring closing where in ring closing we actually have this ring actually closing up as shown right here and we have a thin actually produced so in this case if ethane is released as a gas we make more products which is favorable through entropy however to actually favor the reverse reaction which is ring opening first ring strain actually governs that so that means is that if we have the ring around to be not within five or six membered rings the reaction which is going in the reverse direction will actually be favorable through ring strain and also enthalpy and also looking at other factors like for example the pressure that you apply on the ethene product right there which forces the reaction to also move in the reverse direction so there are many factors that actually influences this reaction and finally we have ring opening polymerization where in this case we have a polymer actually being created where in here we just put our arrow there and we have this particular ring forming more of itself as it moves either from left to right or right to left and also since this is now out of the way we're going to dive into the reaction mechanism that is actually proposed by Shevin and what Shevin did was that he actually figure out the mechanism that we actually use today in designing the olefin metathesis reaction and what he actually proposed was that metal center and the metal center we're going to focus mainly on the active site where we have the metal alkylidine and what this does is that it's actually subjected to this particular alkene first one which is r1 and once r1 comes in the metal double bond right there 
comes in contact with this particular carbon center and then this double bond actually comes in contact with the metal and what happens is that intermediate right here and this intermediate is actually forming a symmetrical forbidden intermediate which is based on the woodward Hofsmann's rule which we talked about on our previous videos and this actually because the metal has d orbitals involved this makes the activation energy to be lower than when the tradition transition metal is not present in this four member drink so since that is actually a big contributing factor to this particular intermediate this intermediate will progress again to reforming either the same alkene that we had or it creates a new alkene and uh, what happens here is that by actually breaking this bond and forming a double bond here and breaking this bond and forming a double bond right there what happens is that we actually release our first product right there and then we have the other segment which is positioned right there so this particular process here is called a cyclo elimination and once the cyclo elimination is actually performed our next step again is to perform a 2 plus 2 cyclo addition by introducing another alkene right there and what happens is that once this alkene is introduced we actually draw our arrow first we actually introduce this particular bond right there and then this bond breaks and forms a sigma bond right there and then we form our four membered ring right here which actually involves the transition metal and in here we have our R1 and on this other side we have our R2 and from there on we actually perform our final cyclo elimination where this bond actually cleaves and reforms our double bond right here and then this bond right here cleaves and forms double bond right there and what happens is that we actually release our desired product which is r2 r1 which could be either up or down and we have our double bond and then we recreate our active transition metal alkyl dyne so that's about it for this particular olefin metal thesis mechanism and also the processes involved in this particular type of reactions and also the type of catalysts that are available for this process and also the organic definition of it all the same stay smart and believe in yourselves